I'm 17. Every night he comes down to tuck me in the bed, and every morning he kisses me goodbye before work. On August 20th, he texted me he was too tired to kiss me goodnight. We were supposed to watch a movie together, but he said he wasn't feeling good all of a sudden, and that he wanted to rest his eyes for a bit. I'm making this video for myself, but also for all the other kids who lost a parent too soon. I always turn to YouTube in a time of loneliness, but I didn't see many videos feeling the same way I did. There's lots of media about how all parents look different, but there's not a lot of media about being a teenager and losing a parent. So I thought I'd make something that teenagers could relate to if they're going through the same thing I am. I'm having to mourn the fact my dad will never walk me down the aisle at my wedding. My kids will never get to have who would have been the best grandpa on earth. Up there with my grandpa, who I love. My house feels empty. I lost three uncles earlier this year, as well as my dog, Willow, who you may know as Weed Dog. So this year for me has been unthinkable, right? My ex's mom even thought I was lying for attention, which I wish I was. My whole life feels empty. I was really close with two of my uncles. One of them I wasn't as close with, but it was especially hard because he was my dad's older brother. And seeing my dad upset hurt me. It puts me at a bit of ease knowing he's with his brother again. In my faith. Maybe all the deaths leading up to my dad were just so he wouldn't be lonely in whatever the afterlife is. My dad worked in a nearby township. He worked there from when he was 18 till 58, the day he died. The township raised the flags at half-mast when my father passed away, which they only usually do for tragedies you see on the news. It makes me feel a lot of comfort knowing that for a lot of people, this is a great tragedy. It's not just me suffering right now. He was loved by everyone and he loved everyone. The funeral was open casket. That was definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to see. No kid should ever have to converse with family and peers, in a room where their dad's dead body lays. People were telling me it'll just look like he's sleeping, but it didn't. It looked emotionless, cold, dead. It really put into perspective to me how our bodies are really just vessels we use to navigate life. The people at school are nice to me now, which they weren't before. I hate the fact that it took my dad dying for people to show me respect. I go to school in the same building my dad went to middle school. It's hard sitting in class knowing that he once walked these halls and he never will again. Not to visit, and not for my graduation. A while back, I designed a character to make into a plush for emotional support. This is my little guy. The funeral was the last day I'd get to sit with my dad with my little guy in my lap. I don't have classes first period, so that's when I've been writing this. I don't know how I'm not crying while writing this. I'm staying strong. Which is something I've had to do a lot for my mother, so I guess I've gotten pretty good at it. A link to a GoFundMe for me and my mother will be in the description below. I'm just gonna end the video by saying I really loved my dad.